Hey everybody. Uh, so after many years of starts and stops with different productivity and note-taking systems, I've finally found a new home, which is Obsidian. I say new home, but I've been using it for several years uh, and over that time, I've created several different systems. Uh, these include things like daily notes, meeting notes, people notes, book notes, notes for physical objects. Um, I've already documented a lot of these sort of systems on my personal website, but I figure now is a good time to create some video tutorials for them as well. So one of the more popular posts of mine is my daily note template post. And due to the amount of positive feedback I've gotten from that post, I wanted to make this companion YouTube video. So this video documents the entire process starting from a clean Obsidian Vault. Uh, the only pre-recording changes that I've made to this vault would be to install my favorite theme, which is Nick Milo's LYT mode for linking your thinking mode. He has his own theme and it's in dark mode. And then I also already added a bunch of folders in the directory style that I like. Uh, and that directory style is also inspired by LYT. So, uh, the below tutorial, the following tutorial, creates my exact system, the one that I've been using every day for uh, about two years now. Uh, but just because it works for me doesn't necessarily mean it'll work wholesale for you. So please edit, modify, remix, and do everything you need to do to fit it to your own personal working style. Also, please let me know if you like videos like this and you want to see more. I used to create YouTube videos several years ago, but just sort of stopped because I was busy with full-time work and I was then also demonetized on my channel. Um, so I'm toying around with the idea of picking it back up again and your feedback in the form of comments, likes, follows, emails, newsletter subscriptions, all that sort of stuff will either push me in that direction or not. Okay, with all that said, let's jump into the tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see what my daily note template looks like. It's blank, um, and this is what it looks like when you launch it on a brand new day. Today is Tuesday, January 30th, so I created the button to launch this daily note, but I haven't written anything yet. So when I was sort of thinking about my system, I had to think about the things that I wanted to prioritize in the note. And for me personally, that meant a space for some thoughtful reflection. I was using day one as a journaling note, but I wanted to move that over to Obsidian. Uh, I also wanted to have a plate for a, a place for ephemeral notes throughout the day. So kind of like post-its or, or any short, quick place that I could write whatever I wanna write. I wanted to have that in the daily note. Uh, and then I also wanted to have a record of all the different notes that were created or touched that day. So I could see at a glance what I was working on, even if I didn't personally document it myself. Uh, and so I wanna give a quick tour of this. Um, this new properties thing that Obsidian has, this will automatically create using the template that we have. And you can add additional properties up here, but I just have the created date. Next, you'll see tags. Uh, the only tag that automatically goes onto these daily notes is a link back to the daily note uh, map of contents or the main thing. Um, you'll also notice after tags, I have two colons. Um, this is just a style thing that's a holdover from when I used Rome Research because in Rome Research, having two tags or two colons after tags denotes special features. Doesn't do the same in Obsidian, but I always still do it. And so I just have those two colons there. It's nothing special. Uh, then we have the date and we have links to yesterday and tomorrow's daily notes, which are grayed out now. But if you have notes on those days, it will be an actual link. And then I have daily questions. So these are the things that I'll answer every day. Uh, and like I said, I was previously using day one for journaling. And so I found that for me, asking the question, what did I do yesterday was the best prompt for creating those notes. And so I just made that explicit in here. So the first prompt I have is last night after work, I dot, dot, dot. I don't always, I'm not always super strict with using that starter when I make each of these bullet points. Sometimes I just write like a journal, but that's the best way for me to have it formatted. Um, also spaces for one thing I'm excited about right now and also one thing I plan to accomplish today. As I mentioned, I use a different productivity system for day-to-day -day tasks. It's a physical notebook. Um, actually, my physical notebook right here. Uh, and that's sort of what I work out 
uh, in terms of all of my daily tasks. But each day in the morning when I'm doing my daily note, I'll look through that vast list of to-do items and pick one or two things that are super important that need to get done today. And I'll move that into this daily note system. So I kind of use both, but my physical notebook is the main one. Uh, and lastly, there's just a little section what I'm struggling with today. Uh, this is an area that I can use in case there are any blockers or anything that's on my mind that I just want to get out. Uh, the next section is productivity log, and this is the section where I can just write those ephemeral notes. So if I'm in a quick meeting, but I don't want to create an entire meeting note, if I'm reading something, I just want to make a note or a link or jot something down, this is the place where I'll do that. And then there's two sections that automatically fill in. Um, you can see I've been doing a little bit of work already today in Obsidian, and so it's documenting these, but usually when you first create your note, if you are doing it the first thing, these are gonna be empty. And so what I have is notes that were created today and notes that were last edited today. So I can see which notes were physically just brand new as of this date, and then which notes I actually worked on this day. Uh, and these are using a plugin called Data View to automatically fill these in with code that we will write, as you can see right here. Okay, so with that quick tour, let's actually jump into implementing this system. What you're looking at now is an empty brand new vault. And again, the only thing that I've done to this vault was I set the theme to LYT mode, and then I created all these folders and directories that I like. This is just what I've used in my main vault. And I just created empty folders here. So the very first thing we want to do is let's create a new note. And I'm going to do Command N to create a new note. And I'm going to call this template daily note. And this is the format I like to use for all of my templates. So template colon, col <laughs> comma, and then the name of the daily note. And so let's move this. So I'm going to do Command P to open the palette, type in move, uh, and then move current file to another folder. Let's type in templates. And like I said, I created this folder already. So I have the directory structure of extras and then templates. And I'm just going to press enter to move this here. Great. Now let's fill this in with the template that I've already created. So this is the blog post from my website, my daily note template. And that links to this GitHub gist, which has the actual text for the note. And so what I'm going to do is just go to raw. Let's command A to select this, command C to copy, and go back to my template and command V to paste this in. And let's move this to source mode just so that we can see the actual template as we want to see it here. Great. So now that we got this template in place, it has the code for Templater that's going to automatically expand. And in the end, it's going to actually fill in this data like I showed you in the tour of the final project. So that's it. This template is created and we can close this. So the final thing that we need in order to set up our daily note is to set up the individual plugins. So the first one we're going to set up is we're going to go to settings. You'll most likely just be in general right here. Uh, if you go into core plugins, there's going to be daily notes. You can see it right here. Make sure this is enabled. It should be enabled by default, but this is one thing to check on. Uh, and then this button right here is going to move you to options, or you could just go here. These are both going to be the same. So let's go into daily notes note options. And what we're going to do is fill in a few different things here. So the way that I like to organize my notes is all of my daily notes are going to go in this timestamps folder. And I want it to be within timestamps, there's going to be a folder for year, and then a folder for month. And then within the month, it's going to list all the actual files. And so you can do that using just the file name and filling this in right here. So let's go back to my template post. And then let's scroll down and let's see after the quick tour here, here it is. So within the daily note settings, we're going to just copy this, go back here and paste this. You'll notice that there are backslashes. Backslashes here create a new directory if there isn't one. So this is going to create the current system where it's going to create a folder for 2024, a folder for 01 January, and then an actual file with this name. Uh, for the new file location, I'm going to choose 
timestamps, because like I said, I created this directory already, and this is where I want them to go. And then the daily note template post, the reason why we created the post first was so that it would show up here. So I'm gonna choose this daily note template. Uh, and then this is up to you, open daily note on startup. I don't usually have this switched on just because I don't actually uh, quit and restart Obsidian all the time. I just keep it open. So with that, your daily note plugin is going to be turned on. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is go to community plugins. We're gonna turn on community plugins and then browse, and I'm gonna install Templater. So you can see I search for Templater, click this, let's install it, and then we'll enable it. Now it's enabled, and let's go to Options to set this up. So in Options, this trigger Templater uh, on new file creation, we're gonna want this enabled. So this means that if a new file is created that has template or code, it's gonna automatically expand that. So that's what we want in order to create a daily note uh, with all of the code already in it. And template folder location, I created this directory structure, so templates. So I'm gonna tell Templater that this is where I want this to be. And those are the only two things that I need to do. Uh, the final plugin we're gonna have to install, if we go to community plugins, we're gonna browse again and data view. Let's install this and let's enable this. I'm gonna go to options. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything we need to enable or not, but I think this should be good. And let's give it a try right now, okay? so. We did all the things. You can see on the side, open today's daily note is gonna be this button right here. This is usually how I create it. You click this and we got a daily note. And you can see even though the template had actual code for template or code and data view code, these have automatically expanded uh, and you have a new daily note to work from. And that's it. Each day when you start your day, you can just click on this button to create your daily note and then get going. There you go, hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial and it's been useful.